Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this Unity video I'm going to be showing you how to cut up a sprite sheet to use animated characters within your 2D game. So, as you can see, I've added some uh, sprite sheets to my arts directory, and uh, we have the, basically the king-like guy that's been there in all these videos all along. I also added in this rat swarm from Pepper's Art Game Art Pack, and we've also got a couple other miscellaneous sheets. Uh, so, what we'll try to cut up in this video, I guess just to make it really quick, uh, we'll do the rat swim and uh, maybe we'll do these characters over here as well. It shouldn't be too bad. So, whenever you select your PNG images inside of Unity, you'll see in the inspector, texture type, which is defaulted to and should remain, sprite, 2D, and UI. You can come down a bit, you'll see sprite mode, and whenever we have a sprite sheet, that's basically different images that are supposed to represent different states of the same character. We can change the sprite mode from single to multiple to indicate that this is basically multiple images that are packed into a single one. So multiple there. And uh, pixels per unit should remain consistent throughout your game. So if you're setting up your, uh, let's go back to the UI, you're setting up your canvas scaler to have reference pixels per unit, Probably you're going to want that to be the same on your uh, sprite sheets as well. So I'm going to set that to 32. That's also what I was using for Heart Battle, but you can use whatever unit size you want, to be honest. So I'll go into the sprite editor, and this is where the real meat of cutting up your sprites takes place. So you can see we realistically have three images over here. Uh, but in order to slice them up, we're going to need to go to the slice menu on the top left. Now you can do automatic, which in some cases will get you the results you're looking for. But I think if we do it right here with these transparent backgrounds, that's going to be a minor issue. So let's see, automatic. Okay, actually that worked remarkably well. So um, automatic slicing will just cut away the transparent space. Uh, one problem with that might be that your sprites not, might not all be the same size. Uh, so we can see that when we do that, there's actually one di one pixel difference in the height of these images. And then two more over here. If you want all of the image sizes to be exactly the same size all the time, uh, which I think more often than not is what I do, you want to actually go to grid by cell size or grid by cell count. So here you would be defining, um, based on the size of the in the original sprite sheet, how big are your cells? Or you could just say, how many cells do you have? So if you wanted to do by cell count, you can see we have three columns and one row. So obviously, we put three for column, one for row, and then we have perfect slices, and they're all exactly the same size. Also note that when we properly slice that up, we can see the size and width and height of our uh, individual sprites. So knowing that, I can easily go into grid by cell size. And you probably know this precisely what the right size is if you look into the details on uh, whatever pack you're using or if uh, you make it yourself. But we're going to do 96 by 64, which is basically already done for us, but slice it up and now it's just slicing by size rather than columns and rows, but we end up with the same result. So now that we have sliced it up into three separate uh, sprite images, we can simply either hit apply or click on the X and then apply. And we can expand this sheet out and you can see each of the individual images cut up for our game. Now, if you look in the preview window, it's gonna look kind of blurry and that's an issue for most sprite based games. You're gonna need to change the filter mode and the compression uh, to point in bilinear to give it that precise, uh, no anti-aliasing sprite effect. So now we go back in and it looks how it should. Uh, completely clear, no compression or anything like that. Uh, and yeah, that's basically how you get a sprite. So from there you can just drag it into your scenes. Note that that is the canvas, not the actual game area. Kind of pointing out the difference between the canvas there. Let's actually go to where the camera is looking at. <laughs> so that the sizing is a little bit more proper. You can drag it in. If you drag a sprite in, it automatically creates a game object with a transform and a sprite renderer. Alternatively, if you already have game objects like enemies or players set up, just go to those game objects, find the sprite renderer, or add that component in, and add it in as the sprite. 
Now in the next videos we'll be talking more about how to actually animate your characters, but uh, for now that's how you cut up your sprites inside of Unity. So hope that helps you guys out. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future content.